Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. I'm Buffy Harakitis of JSA, and joining me today is Stephen Liang. He's with Vertiv, a provider of critical digital infrastructure. Stephen, welcome. Buffy, thank you for having me here today. I'm looking forward to having this conversation with you. Yeah, we're here in the beautiful French Riviera uh, for Data Cloud Global Congress 2024. And there was some recent news coming out of Vertiv. You just recently launched your 2023 Responsible Business Report. Why don't you tell viewers some of those key highlights and stats? I, I, I think our report is really a chance for us to summarize the activities that we've gone through over the last year and then helping our customers become much more responsible citizens as they build out the data center infrastructure around the world. So lots of new products that help with saving energy and help with being green. Uh, we have products like uh, using timber into the construction, okay. like timber mod, um, hydrogen fuel cell generators instead of normal diesel generators to allow a lot of technologies that make the deployment of data centers a much more sustainable, eco-friendly type of uh, development. And I think that's really demanded by the end customers and, and most society as we see data centers coming up practically everywhere. Practically everywhere is right. Uh, and this has been a record-breaking attendance here and that kind of proves that point that we're just seeing so much digital infrastructure and new data center providers globally. And you're doing an exciting presentation at your exhibit booth, I hear. Why don't you tell viewers a little bit <laughs> well, more about that? I, I think I think what you see right now is the the world of AI has become the kind of the talking point for almost everything. And the, at the Absolutely. heart of AI is data centers. And so what you see in our booth is us enabling the deployment of AI in this industry so that people can benefit from what you're seeing in, uh, in AI in productivity and actually using AI for, for the betterment of you know, humanity to get productivity and more green ideas out. So you'll see in our booth this ability to help uh, these uh, companies like NVIDIA, Intel, AMD deliver their technologies into all the data centers that are being developed. Yeah. So if you're here at Data Cloud Congress, be sure uh, to go by their booth. If not, can viewers go learn more on your website? Uh, definitely come to our website. We just, you know, released our, our AI portal there. So in, in our website, we're kind of helping customers design and future-proof their data centers and their data, digital infrastructure to handle AI. Yeah, and that's the AI Hub? That is the AI Hub. And tell us a little bit more about some of the features of the AI Hub. Well, I, I think the AI Hub is really there to help customers plan because, as you know, Vertiv and, and NVIDIA and Intel have a very good relationship. So in the generations of AI technology coming out, uh, we're helping customers plan so that their data centers are able to deal with the, those kind of products or those technologies today, but also are prepared and, and won't become obsolete in the future. So the AI Hub is, is a place, a resource center, where customers can go to to see about how to deploy now and how to plan for the future, future yeah. as well. Speaking of the future, uh, why don't you tell viewers one of the top trends, one top trend uh, that you're seeing in data center infrastructure and why you're excited about that. I, I think probably you can see at the show here a lot of people on the AI and with the AI loop of food. So you can see in our booth a lot of activities about bringing liquids directly to the chip. And this mm -hmm. cooling is helping to solve the heat problems of these AI chips, but is also a more sustainable way of cooling. So we're seeing a good trend in the future where liquid cooling is going to be for both the computers and probably our products as well. All right. Well, thank you so much for sharing that great insight with us, Stephen. Is there anything else you want to add? No, I think it's a very exciting time for all of us. So looking forward to work with all the, our, our different customers and their customers as we deploy. Yeah. Well, thanks again for joining us. And viewers, thanks again for tuning in to another episode of JSA TV from Data Cloud Global Congress. 2024. Stay curious, stay connected, and happy networking.